So this is going to be a quick time-lapse tutorial on how to make a mixtape cover. Um, assuming that you already have some Photoshop experience on how to use the tools, cut tools, eraser tools. Um, pretty much it's going to be about placement. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all in the time-lapse video. I'll do more videos soon. That's more detailed and showing y'all more videos for beginners soon. But for now, y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment below. And if this video will help you, stay tuned for more. We're going to start off with a white 3000 by 3000 pixel background, 300 DPI. Now I'm going to grab my pre-saved high resolution photos I want to use for this cover. Some photos may already have a transparent background. Some photos I'm going to go cut out with my pen tool and a magic eraser just to make the edges a little smoother. The next step is going to be to select the object and then cover it with an all black color overlay. Then I take my soft round eraser tool and just lightly erase the middle of the black overlay to give the edges a dark, shadowy look. I do this separately to each object on the cover, or at least every object that I want to have that dark, shadowy, shaded look. Next, I go in and select the background color. You can always change this later down the line. Now I'm gonna draw a circle with my Eclipse tool and drag it right over the background layer. Then I use the Blur tool to kind of make it look like a light reflection in the back. Now I'm gonna duplicate the object again and give it a black overlay as we did before. You want to drag this layer under the actual object, then use your perspective tool to rotate it and tilt it to give it the shadow look as needed. Then you turn your eye capacity tool down to give it that light shadow look. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my parental advisory sign and some fonts. It's never the actual placement. I always like to, you know, change it around later down the line. When the title is more than one word, I like to have more than one font box just so I can control everything separately. I'm going to flip through these fonts and find something I like. While I'm doing that, y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button and notification bell. Okay, so I found the font I like. I'm going to go ahead and find a placement for it. Go in, play with the colors. Always like to find different placements, different colors, try different things, because you never know. Everything looks different, so see what, what works best. Go ahead, type in the artist's name. Same process, find some fonts that I like. I like to use different fonts, though. I don't want to use the same font for the name and the title, so I just go through, find different fonts, something that look cool. So I learned with graphic Sweet. design, especially cover art, that the main important thing is placement and fonts. Once you get the placement and the font right, you pretty much got everything else down. So this is the most important part. I go through a bunch of fonts and even when I find the font, I just try to put them in a bunch of different places and see how they look because you got a bunch of different options out here. So don't never settle for the first look. Now I go into my pre-saved texture overlays, set it to multiply or whatever one looks best to you. Use my soft round eraser tool again and just lightly erase in the middle in the spots that I don't want the texture to be. Then again, I go back Adjust all the placement of the objects and the fonts, shadows, everything. That's the most important part to me, so I triple check all that. Usually add the label and team name to it with a nice, sleek, bold font, something that you can see, read with the first glance. There's different ways to do this next step, but I'll do more videos soon in the future, you know, to let y'all see the different ways to do it. But right now I got some pre-saved flares and lights. I'm going to just go in and add a layer, and then, you know, just click over at the spots that I want to put the flares in. Now I'm going to add some more texture overlays. Same way as last time, set it to multiply. Use the soft round eraser tool and just erase the spots. Next, I'm going to add a blue photo filter as a top layer. Going to add a few more flares and resize them for the title. Going to put a few more flares on each object. Give it that shiny look. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some more texture overlays. You can really stack these however you want. Give it that grimy, gritty look. Same process as we did the first two. Then like I said, go back and adjust the fonts, objects, placement of the flares. Never go with the first look, cause something might always look better. So, you know, just play with the placement. That'll pretty much be all for this tutorial. If this video helped you in any kind of way, y'all make sure y'all drop a comment below. Stay tuned for more videos. I got beginner guides, everything coming soon. So y'all just make sure y'all subscribe. Appreciate y'all tuning in. It's Rove with the Charger. Hurt.